Hey guys, so we are really excited for what we are about to do in this video. That's right. Today we are amongst giants. Yes, yeah, so in this video we are going to be exploring the coastal redwoods of Northern California. These are absolutely beautiful and spectacular trees. So we're excited to be starting here at the Avenue of Giants. The Avenue of Giants runs through Humboldt State Park and we have entered the avenue at the southern end and we've come to our first thing to take a look at. So this tree behind me is called the chimney tree. So this guy caught on fire back in 1914 and his center or her center, I don't know what she is or he is, burned out and well, it kind of acts like a chimney. So they say you can walk inside the room now and you can see the sky. Let's see can, if it's- You can see the naturally occurring door. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's mm -hmm. free. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I mean, this attraction <laughs> is free. This is one of those instances of you kind of have to be here to kind of get the full effect. I'm really kind of pushing the limits of my camera trying to show you the hole up in the uh, in the roof of the tree. Is that a thing? The roof of the tree? I get, trees have roofs. <laughs> roofs. Roofs. But it's really cool to stand inside this big tree and be able to see the sky. Well, you can't really see the sky because you can see other branches. It looks like there are other trees around it that are healthy and alive and growing, so I'm not sure if they're part of this tree or not. There's a little shack behind me that serves refreshments like burgers, shakes, malts, floats, everything you would expect from a redwood tree. Actually, I'm really interested in this place, but it's not open yet, and we've got the rest of the Avenue of Giants to go down. one of the first groves of redwoods here and this one is called the bowling grove it was actually named after the highest ranking the first highest ranking official that was killed or um, officer that was killed during world war one that's not a good thing to get named after honestly i mean that's <laughs> But anyway, it's named after this guy. We actually learned a few cool facts. So one, there are only four to 5% of these redwood trees remaining. The rest have been logged over the years. Most of what's left now is protected, but that's just sad because these things are so majestic and beautiful. And to think that only about 4% are actually left. So a couple of amazing facts about the coastal redwood. These trees are magnificent. They're the tallest living thing on earth. I mean, I'm almost six foot. So, I mean, they got me beat just by a little bit, because these guys can actually grow up to like 360 feet tall. If that's not impressive enough for you, these things can live anywhere from 500 years all the way up to 2,200 years old. I'm not quite that old yet, but I'm getting there. So you may be wondering how in the heck do these trees live so long? Well, that really, I think, comes down to their bark. So the bark on these things can be up to a foot thick. That is insane, but that, um, thickness of bark protects this from fire. Some of these have caught on fire and they survive. It protects them from bugs and any other kinds of things that can harm it. It's quite impressive. Just pulled up to the Humboldt Redwood State Park Visitor Center and I just found a sign here. I know I said like 360 feet. This one's saying it can grow over to 370 feet. This visitor center is right next to the Burlington campground which we're staying at tonight and we'll show you a little bit later. But for right now, we're gonna go look at the visitor center. So they have a cross cut of a redwood tree here and they have some little markers that kind of show you what's kind of happened over the history of this tree. So here really close to the center in the year 1096, Oxford University was founded. Actually, it's pointing to like right here. And then if you come out here, 1521, Cortez conquers the Aztecs. And then the most recent in 1928, the California State Park System was established all the way out here. So inside the visitor center is pretty neat. They have displays of animals, kind of what happened here in the past as far as logging and stuff. However, they do have something that's really, really awesome and totally worth a stop. There's something called the travel log. You guessed it, this vehicle is built out of a single piece of redwood tree. It was cut down and basically carved out. So if you think about it, it's kind of like van life back in the day. Now across the street from the visitor center is this little nature trail. I highly recommend it. Actually, any chance you get to get out of your vehicle and walk along these trees and see the nature out here, it's, it's stunning, it's beautiful. Highly recommend it. 
So we're taking a little walk through the woods here and I think we have finally, finally figured out how to tell the difference between a boy tree and a girl tree. Boy tree. I, I don't, I don't think that, I, that's not what, I don't, I don't no? know. No? Okay. Yeah. more about these trees. For one, they like to grow at elevations below 2,000 feet and they like moderate temperatures so they tend to grow in areas that get too cold or too hot but they absolutely love water so they do really well here in the northwest portion of California. It rains so 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 much here and then during the summer months where they don't get as much rain these trees are very creative. They actually pull moisture out of the coastal summer fog to help hydrate them. That's that's crazy impressive. So speaking of the water conditions that these things are able to endure, this is an actually a marker. This was a, a flood back in December of 1964. They actually had a huge flood. So this pole all the way to the top, the top of this marks where the water went. So I think it was like 15 feet tall from where I'm standing. So you can see a lot of these trees, they were like covered in 15 feet of water. The, the, that year, the actual, it was the Eel River that flooded and it was 33 feet above the flood line. Okay, welcome back to the middle of the forest in the middle of nowhere. So we have made our way further along the Avenue of Giants. We are currently at the Rockefeller Grove. So Rockefeller played an instrumental part in the preservation of this area. So back in 1927, he donated a million dollars to help preserve the trees and stop the logging of these trees. And then in 1929, he donated another million dollars. Back in those days, that, that $2 million was a lot of money. So he was very influential on, on helping preserve the, if you remember earlier, this 4% of these beautiful trees that are left. He actually came out here and was so enamored by the beauty of the forest and the trees that that's when he decided, I, 1927, a million dollars was a lot of money. A lot of money back in the day. And there are, they do say that this is, like many people say, this is the most beautiful forest in the entire world. Make your decisions. But it's pretty. It's really pretty. <laughs> if you know of a prettier one, leave one down in the comments <laughs> yeah, below tell because, us. you know. <laughs> because this one's pretty cool. <laughs> so we are on the Tall Tree Trail. I think that's an appropriate name. A little bit of underbrush here. Ugh and the tallest tree in the entire park is supposed to be here. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's right here. It's a little soggy looking, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a little soggy. I'll, I'll show you what we're talking about. So the weather has definitely been soggy up here. So you can see there's a big puddle here in front of the sign and the sign is actually half buried. This is the tall tree. So according to the sign, it says that this tree is like 359 point something and that measurement was taken in some year that we cannot see because it's half underwater. I thought they were talking about this tree right <laughs> that here is not at first the tall and tree. that is not the tall tree. <laughs> yeah you can see it and like if you, you you probably won't be able to see it on the camera but when we're looking up you can tell that this tree goes up much further than a lot of the surrounding trees so it is pretty dang oh, tall. Oh they're, they're gonna see it. They're gonna <laughs> we're see we're it. gonna try we're gonna try. And there it is folks the tallest tree in the park. So we've made it back from our day of exploring the Avenue of Giants and it was so much fun and those trees are just absolutely incredible. What's also incredible is this campground. As we mentioned earlier we're staying at the Burlington campground. It's got big beautiful trees everywhere. And it's located in the state park right off of the Avenue of Giants. One thing that you'll notice that there are these massive trees, the canopies, uh, you notice the video was pretty dark. It's that dark there. It's... And that's kind of why we're inside filming this closing is because it was kind of dark outside. And like even during the day, it feels dark among those redwoods because they really kind of like black out the entire sky. So we hope you enjoyed exploring the Avenue of Giants with us. It's definitely worth coming here to look at them. We had planned on going up to the National and State Redwoods Park on our way up the California coast but we're kind of in a hurry to get up to central Oregon coast 
to meet up with some friends so we're gonna have to skip over that so unfortunately we won't be able to share that with you in this video but we do have some Oregon stuff coming up very very soon for you if you enjoyed this video go ahead and like it make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notifications bell and till next time stay, stay wonderful, wonderful. Call it a day.